Good day. Welcome to my channel. Or if you're familiar with my channel, welcome back. So I'm going to unveil the Chess Genius Pro by Millennium. So I am going to unbox this and show you what's inside the box. And it's my first time actually delving into this board. Well, delving into this topic of the board, the Chess Genius Pro. I have lightly discussed about the Chess Genius, the older model. So this is the 2024 model of the Chess Genius Pro. And I'm going to share my initial thoughts of it. Once I get the gist of this board and get the hang of using this board, I am new to this board and I am trying to still get familiar with it. So do bear with me while I talk about this topic and show you the board overall. I will share and show you the pieces and how it performs. So let's get into this topic with the Chess Genius Pro. Here it is, the Chess Genius Pro by Millennium. I ordered this on Amazon myself. I am not sponsored by Millennium in any way. I did purchase this with my own money and I got it on Amazon. So I purchased it about a couple of weeks ago and I received it one week later. The affiliate link is in my description. Should you be interested in purchasing this board, feel free to use my affiliate link. So let's unbox this, the Chess Genius Pro by Millennium. So I'll just take out all of the contents from the box first. We have the instruction manual, the board itself, and inside this box, oh, sorry, <laughs> this is the quick start guide, the instruction manual. This is just imp important information. What else is inside this box? And nothing in here. Okay, so you get, they're kind enough to give you a bag for the pieces. So you can input, you can insert your white and black chess pieces in here. And here are the pieces. Nothing more. Right, immediately I can tell that these pieces don't really look black at all. They are kind of like a grayish color. Not that that is an issue, that seems to be fine. As long as they do resemble the opposite color, we should be good to go. And here are the white pieces. I just turned on the light because I forgot to turn it on. So I'll show you once more. You can see that these pieces don't really look black. They seem to be like of a grayish color. This is the queen. All of the pieces look quite tall, as you can see, except for the pawns. So the queen and the king they have a thin body to them. As well as the bishops, you can see that. The rooks. And the knight itself doesn't have a thin body to it. But overall, they all, they all look really tall. That's the kind of route that uh, Millennium tends to go for for these pieces. A thin body for the king and queen especially. See that? So let's put this aside first and have a look at the board itself. Let's 
Here it is. The Chess Genius Pro M815 Chess Genius Pro by Millennium. So it's my first time getting my hands on this board, as I said before. So I hope all goes well with this video. I am, I am yet to set up this board and familiarize myself with this board. So you can see immediately right off the bat that these squares have annotations on the squares themselves. A1, B1, C1, B2, C3, D4, E5, F6, G7, H8, and so on. So rather than going for annotations along the side, A to A to H and 1 to 8 on the sides, they decided to go for annotations displayed on the squares themselves, which is all right. That is a more detailed expression of having to show where those pieces are on the, on the board. We don't have to refer to the sides and then get the hang of having to find where those pieces are like a grid. So we actually have the piece, the annotations on the board, which is more, um, more noticeable. So we have power. This is, I suppose, is for play. Anyway, let's get onto it. And so this is the screen. On the back, we are to insert our double A batteries. It takes four double A batteries, and this is the speaker. So that this is what I'm going to do right now. Rather than have um, it connected to a power supply, I am going to insert the batteries. I was wrong about the charger. There is no charger, so you will make do with the batteries and you'll have to re you have to purchase batteries again once these batteries are just are depleted and drained out you'll need to go to the supermarket and buy more batteries or you can actually use a power adapter where is it so here it is yes the power adapter you can insert your um, power adapter inside here it has dc in it says five volts so it accepts five volts and you just insert the plug in here this is your on and off switch but i'm going to use batteries for this video so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to insert the batteries i tend to go with duracell duracell is my favorite brand I just think they last longer and they're more reliable. Or you could use rechargeable batteries and recharge the batteries separately and then reinsert the batteries for AA batteries inside this unit. Oh, that's interesting. So I turned it on for the first time and I'm immediately greeted with select language. So I am to select the language I prefer. I will select English and we can already start a game. You can immediately see that on the screen we have the white pieces displayed here and the black pieces. So now we just need to set up the pieces on the board. Right, the pieces are set up. I don't know what level I'm at right now, so what I'm going to do is press on menu and select my play level. So I'm on normal right now and it says number one. So I suppose that is move in one second. I'm versing against the computer. This is not an online chess board, keep in mind. You cannot play online with this board. This is solely for computer, computer use. So you are playing against an engine or playing against the computer. So number five says move in 10 seconds, 15, 30, so on. I will select, I will select three. Oh, no, let's go with number two. So move in two seconds. And to move a piece, all you have to do is just push down 
and you can see the highlighted piece on the screen and you move to whichever whichever square you want to go to. And now it says here that I am to move this piece. All right. You can hear the feedback as you are playing and pushing the pieces down. You can hear the speaker, the, the effects of the speaker, the sound effects. So if I'm pushing this piece down, for example, I can hear the tick, hear the tap on the, hear the tap from the speaker. Again. All right. Now I am to move this piece, D7 to D5. This board does not have LEDs displayed on the squares. You'll have to refer to the LCD screen as you move your pieces and figure out which piece to move. Um, for me, it's not really a big issue. I don't mind going back to this LCD screen every time I have to move. But maybe for some, it could be annoying because you always have to refer to this screen as you are playing. And to capture a piece, I can just push down and push down on the square that has the corresponding piece I want to capture. Now it says yes, so E6 captures D5. So the, the time is displayed here. So far I've been playing for around a minute. And yeah, it just increments as, as I'm figuring out what to move. There are other levels on this board that we will explore. Okay, so what other options are there? It has hint. So if I want to find out what piece I should move next, if I get stuck, I can just click on hint and it says, Okay, move my queen from D1 to E2. And I can do that. So now it's black's move, it wants to move its bishop from F8 to E7. Let's go back to menu, move now. So if I want to play as black, I can convince the computer, I can force move the computer to make its move for white, and I will be playing as black. Okay. Now I am playing as black. White's the computer, white is the computer, and it wants to move its um, bishop, sorry, its knight from b1 to c3. Let's explore the other options. So it has move now, back, forward, all. Let's see, what does it mean? Oh, okay, so if I want to see the history of this board, of this game, if I want to see the history of this game, I can refer back to the previous moves and look at the screen up to the move where I'm at right now. Other options, next best move. What does it mean? Next best move. Okay. I'm a little bit stuck here. Hmm. <laughs> and now am I playing as white? It seems as though it moved twice. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's go and start a new game. I'll select a new game. I can select myself to be as white or black. 
I'll play as white then. And I'll just move the pieces back. And it's my move. I'm going to start a new game. I push this square down. I push the piece down and move to the corresponding square. So push, push. This is a push sensory board, not auto sensory board, unlike the other boards. So have we set up, have we explored the other options? Let's see. So we have seen play level. Other levels there are are blitz. So we can play blitz. We can play as fun. And what I know is that fun is an adaptive mode. So should you want to play against the computer at your own pace, at your own level, you can play fun and choose this. And if you do perform blunders and make mistakes, the computer will also do blunders and yeah, lower its expectations and therefore you'll be playing at a fun level. So the computer will adjust its level accordingly as you play along. We have easy, tournament, user defined, you can customize your game here. Find mate, shortest mate, so which uh, the shortest mate possible, the least number of moves possible to find a checkmate. Normal, and to cancel, we can just click on this, press back, I'll go back and start a new game again. Menu, set up position. So if you want to set up your position, you can do that right here and continue your game from there. So you can remove a piece, you just push down and that'll remove a piece. And yeah, you can put your pawn there, continue your game from there. You want to select black and white, you can push the up and down arrows and select the piece you want to move or set up. You can save or load your game. So if you're playing in the middle of a game, you can save your progress here and continue from there. So if I play a game now, for example, and then I want to save this position, I can just select menu save and load and save my progress here save yeah it's saved so i can just continue from there so let's say if i start a new game i can i can start a new game and proceed from here or if I want to continue from my previous game, I can select save load and select that. And just make sure that you select load using these arrows. Load and now I'm there. You'll have to refer to the screen as you place the pieces so that you know where to move, where to place those pieces. Okay, what else do we have? What other, what other options? So if you want to play over the board, you can select two players. So there is an opponent opposite from you, you can continue your game from here. This will also record your moves and you can refer to the past games that you've been playing with your opponents. So it's pretty handy. It's a good feature. Great way to record your games and progress as you play with your friends. So we have seen hint, move now, back, forward, all, two player analysis, play level, Set up position, save, load. Now let's look at the options that we have. So you can, so you can, um, yeah, turn board. All right. So if I believe that this is for the orientation. So let's say if you have the white pieces here, you can shift them to the top and have these black pieces at the bottom. Turn board. Permanent brain. So permanent brain, if I'm not mistaken, I think that this will play at its highest level and at a fixed level. So this is what you will perhaps do, permanent brain. 
I may be wrong. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, tutor. So for learners or novice players, you can select this. Let's have a look. Oh yes, you will have to toggle it from left or right. So if it has a tick, it means it's on. You can have tutor on if you want coaching over this board. Resign, draw. You can select this if you wish to resign a game. Style, normal, risky, solid, normal. I suppose that this is the kind of play that you will have with this board. Book, modern, so if you want to select the chess openings, you can select that by here. We have the book, classics, modern, or you can just toggle it off. If you have book, book set to classic, it'll use the classic openings and the modern openings nowadays and so on. Sound, oh, now I have the volume at, its, at the max. Um, brightness, you can adjust the brightness of the display. That'll use more power, so it will drain your battery faster. Bear in mind. Pieces, standard, classic, how you want the pieces displayed. Let's have a look at um, modern. Let's go with classic then. Classic. Yes, language, English. Okay, let's go back. I think that's everything for the menu. Yes, now the pieces look different. And to castle, you just push your, push the king down and push it down on g1. And you'll have to push the rook down on h1 to f1. Just keep pushing down. All right, I'm going to do a silly move. I'm going to take this pawn with my knight and see what happens. <laughs> oh, since I have tutor enabled, it says bad move. Should I take back or ignore it? Hmm, I think I will ignore it. And it takes my queen. So that's the tutor feature. Bad move again. I can take back this time. So to take back, I just move the piece back. So I have to push down and push down again to the space where it was before. And it's telling me that I've got to put this black bishop there. So I push it down again, and I can make my next move, a better move. Also, one thing I would like to mention is that if you push down on a piece and you change your mind, you want to keep the piece there, you'll just have to push the piece down again. And it'll, it'll ignore the piece and you can carry on and move another piece. But let's say if I push this bishop down and I'll push another piece, I can also continue on. A case for this board isn't really necessary, although they are kind enough to give you a bag, a sack to put the pieces inside. As for the board, you can just insert it at the back pouch of your backpack if you do have one. That's the Chess Genius Pro from Millennium. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. Again, if you're interested in buying this board, feel free to use my affiliate link that is in the description. Again, as I say always, I'll be making further videos along the road. I know that there is a Chess Up 2 coming out soon. I have checked the website and I am aware that it is now available for purchase. I did order one and it should be coming out hopefully in December. So it's going to take so a few months perhaps to arrive here and as soon as I get my hands on that one I will try to make a review for that as soon as I can as soon as time permits so yes 
feel free to tune into my channel and check out my videos. I have some chestnut videos as well that I have created in the past. You can feel free to check those out. So I do have some videos from Millennium. I recently made a video of the Millennium Chess Tournament Supreme 55. And I'm um, pretty proud of that video. Um, those boards, those Millennium boards are really modular and they have, yeah, some, dif some differences among other boards that we have nowadays, such as the chestnut boards. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video once again, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.